having trouble finding ice and don't have the room or materials to build a big ice farm? Well, check this out. What's up everybody, it's Broken Bones here and welcome to Redstone in a Box. Today I've got Rogue Volpe with me and that's because he's inspired this pocket sized ice farm. This thing is really awesome, check this thing out. It's so small and it takes up nearly no resources to build. It's something that you can build very very early game, very very easily. And it makes uh, 5 ice uh, every day and every night, so you get 10 ice per day. And it works out pretty well. You sit here AFK and your pick does the rest and everything comes right down into here into your chest. And so that's uh, pretty nice. It's very, very simple and easy to build. So thank you to Rogue Volpe for making ourselves a nice little pocket sized ice farm. This build is incredibly tiny. It's only 9 by 9 by 9 all up from the floor level. And now for our redstone in a box. What we have here is we have one redstone dust, one redstone lamp. A daylight sensor, a lever, a sticky piston, three observers, five slime blocks, five redstone torches, five regular pistons, five redstone repeaters, five obsidian, six hoppers, two water buckets, and a chest, and two stacks of blocks of your choice. And you're also going to need a silk touch pick with uh, unbreaking if you have it and all those other enchantments, efficiency 5 and mending. So if you have all that, uh, the rest of it is all up to you what you guys want to do with the storage system. Like I said, I do have a chest in there, but I do have some videos on my channel of some shulker box storage solutions. If you guys want to go ahead and check those out, I'll leave those links on the end screen. And to get things started, go ahead and place in your floor blocks just like this. Come around on the back side and place in a chest just like so. Grab a hopper and crouch place a hopper into the back side of your chest like this, right there. And come up by one and come back by four more. One, two, three, four. So you should have five hoppers there just like that. Go ahead and crouch place a block on top of this hopper to get yourself started. You're going to go ahead and build yourself a little corridor around your hoppers just like this to go ahead and block everything from falling out of your hopper uh, collection system. So go ahead and border that all in like so. Bring this all the way around and then in the front you can go ahead and build this border around just like this. Bring this around right here. Go ahead and get that all in. And then go ahead and place in your lever right here and grab your redstone lamp and place that in just like so and that is going to be your on off switch. Over here you're going to go ahead and border this up by one more just like this. Go ahead and place that all in. <coughs> And then grab your ice. You're going to go ahead and grab your ice to make sure that your water doesn't flow through into your hopper system. You don't want that to happen. And uh, so now what we need to do is we need to build this up by one more. So go ahead and build up uh, some obsidian right here. And then you're going to go ahead and build this up right here like this. Here we are. And actually we need to go ahead and come on out by one block just like that. Go ahead and break these guys out right here. And same with right here. Go ahead and uh, bring this out by one block just like that and bring this out right here too and you can place a block up there this is where your water is going to be so go ahead and place your water in here and then all in here and as you can see that's going to go ahead and create infinite water sources all the way through just like that there we go now because you're in a freezing biome you're going to need to make sure that you cover the water sources that you don't want to freeze these are going to be the ones that uh, reset your farm for you so once you have all that in place uh, go ahead and come over here and box in the front of your area to get this all nice and good looking Once you have your front all boxed in like this, go ahead and come up top and you're going to go ahead and place in some slime blocks, two blocks up just like this, and bring these all the way across all of your obsidian blocks. Next, you're going to go ahead and break out your uh, regular pistons, place these on the bottoms of all those slime blocks, grab your regular piston, or your sticky piston, sorry, break that one out and place that one in this direction right there. You can go ahead and not break that one out. There we go. Go ahead and place in some observers on the side of that sticky piston, just like this, facing inward towards your slime blocks, just like that. Next, you're going to go ahead and place in blocks just like this and staircase on down just one more like that. Next, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing, staircase on down just like so, and one more up just like this. 
and one more up just like that just right there all right so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put in some repeaters so go ahead and place in a repeater right there and another one right there set to two ticks and some redstone dust right there and actually take that one out there just for a second uh, and actually you know what we can go ahead and leave that in there uh, what we're going to do now is we need to go ahead and place in a uh, repeater right here that's going to be set to four ticks just like that Next, we need to go ahead and place in some temporary blocks right here, just like that, and place in an observer right here, and as you should see, should fire that farm, just like so, there we go, and that might even push in some ice, yep, it did, so let's go ahead and break that out for next time, there we go, let's go ahead and come up here, and as you can see, this farm already creates ice pretty quickly, and let's see here, we need to go ahead and come in front of our observer, go ahead and come over this way with a repeater, just like that, and that should go ahead and set the farm off again. <laughs> and then if we place one more block in with our uh, daylight sensor, just like that, that'll go ahead and set the farm off one more time, just like that. And that should go ahead and do it for all of the redstone. Now what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and set up the on switch and off switch. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go ahead and put in a torch right here, just like that. And as you can see, that's going to fully extend the farm, making it to where it turns off so that way no more ice forms, and there therefore it shouldn't cause any more lag on your server. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and wire that one up, which is going to go ahead and be uh, coming off that block right there, which is the same block that you have your on switch on. So go ahead and come off of that block by uh, two blocks just like that. Break that one out, and then you can place in a repeater right here. You're going to come up into a block just like so. You're going to go ahead and staircase on up just like this, and you should see that that leads up to your other block very nice and neatly just like that. Go ahead and place in uh, all of your torches just like this. Here we are. That should go ahead and turn on just like that. Now, as you can see, that's in the off position. Now, if we turn the farm on, you'll see that that should retract and everything should be in the on state. There we go. So now the farm is activated. Anytime that the daylight sensor activates that uh, uh, observer right there, it's going to go ahead and activate the entire farm, pushing the ice down into the player who's holding their silk touch pick right here in their inventory. And obviously, they're going to be in survival mode. And let's go ahead and put ourselves in survival mode. Rogue, do you want to go ahead and do the honors for me? Go ahead and uh, reload the thing with ice and go ahead and do the daylight sensor for me. And I'll go ahead and start swinging. So as you can see, if you uh, hold R2 down with your rubber band on your trigger, and uh, once the ice freezes and it's a new day, we're going to go ahead and switch the daylight sensor. And all the ice gets pushed down into the player and sucked into the uh, hoppers like so right here into our chest right here just like that so there's our five ice just like that so every day and every night you get five more ice so every single time it changes daylight cycles you get a single pulse just like that pushing five more ice into the player and so that's uh that's pretty much it guys that's the entire farm <laughs> well i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please remember to hit that like button and if you really liked it please remember to subscribe and as always share this video with all your friends. I'm Broken Bones and I will see you guys next time. Don't, don't forget to thank uh, Rogue Volpe in the comment section for inspiring this farm. So thank you guys. I will see you guys next time.